Hey, Frida. How could you talk to your family about me like that? Oh my god, here comes my brother's annoying wife again. Harper, it's only 9 a.m. and I'm still sleeping. Can you just let me sleep? No, wake up and talk to me. I want to talk about what happened at the dinner yesterday. Ugh, fine. You already ruined my morning anyways. Happy? No, I'm not happy at all. Especially after what you did yesterday. Oh, what I heard is that you're not happy to marry my lovely brother, right? Well, me neither. Why don't you cancel your stupid wedding right away then, instead of waking me up at 9 a.m.? You're so rude, do you know that? What? Freya, are you saying that you want me to stop my wedding with Christopher? Is that the reason why you told everyone in your family that I was always cheating in school tests? And I was only dating a bunch of boys in senior year? Well, sort of. You know, I was only telling the truth. Which my parents should know before letting you marry their son. Are you crazy? That was totally made up. Hmm, who knows? You know, I know, and your brother knows. So, they're my family. So of course they trust me more than you. You're a stranger. Also, everyone knows that we went to the same high school. They thought I knew you well enough to tell them the truth. The truth was that you were the student who was caught cheating in the final exam. If your family knew what you did, they would definitely be disappointed in you, Frida. What? Did you tell my parents and Christopher about that? If so, oh my god, Harper, I swear I'm going to ruin your wedding. No, just Christopher. He already knew about that, though. But he found out by himself. You better hope my parents haven't found out about that incident. Anyway, after everything I said about you, my brother still blew it off and didn't say anything to reveal that I was making it up. Now everyone in my family knows that you're a fake nerd and nowhere near as good as you're pretending to be. Oh wait, I've just realized that he didn't love you enough to help you in front of my family. You're so pathetic, Harper. <laughs> Let me clear this up. Christopher didn't say anything because he didn't want you, the sister he loves, to be humiliated in front of the guests. And I'm the one who told him not to do that. Just so you know, we're gonna tell your parents what you said. <laughs> what? Are you gonna tell the whole household? My parents, my uncles, aunts, and cousins? They already know you're not trustworthy and totally unreliable. Do you really have enough time to explain yourself to every single person? I don't think so, because the wedding is very close. You'll soon be tied up. You're so childish. I knew you didn't like me when we were in high school, but I didn't know why. Frida, what the heck did I do so wrong that you keep treating me like dirt? You really don't know? Oh, Harper, I thought you would figure it out sooner, but you're not smart at all, it seems. <laughs> Let me ask you a simple question. Do you think that I should like the person who got me caught cheating in that silly exam? Huh? What are you talking about? Oh, don't play dumb. You were the reason why I failed that exam, Harper. I hate you. What? Are you serious? The only thing I did was not letting you copy my answer, which is totally fair. Frida, look, we both know that you were disqualified from that exam because you didn't prepare for it and just tried to copy other students. Why did you pettily blame me for all your faults? Now if you cheat on your boyfriend, will you blame me for it again? You're so ridiculous. If you'd helped me right away, I wouldn't have had to ask the nerd at the front and hence wouldn't have been caught cheating that day. Do you know how far I had to go to hide that incident from my parents? Of course you don't. The only thing you know is how to steal my brother from me. What are you saying? I didn't steal your brother from you, or anything for that matter. Your brother cannot stay with you forever. He'd get married and move out soon anyway. It's what grown-ups do. I don't care. Before you got into his life, Christopher always played with me and brought me with him whenever he went out with his dudes. Since you came, you've been stealing every moment I would have with him. You ruined my relationship with my brother. Uh, you're such a child, Frida. Why don't you grow up, huh? We're not children fighting over candy in kindergarten anymore. We're both grown-ups, okay? Act like an adult, please. Are you saying my brother is candy? That's a metonym. Ugh, that's silly. 
like you. I'm not a child, okay? I can tell who deserves to marry my amazing, wholesome brother. And that will never be you. You're too ugly to have him. Excuse me? I'm what? Oh, and blind. Can't you read? I said you're ugly. If my nephew or niece came out of you, they would inherit your ugliness. Ew, that would be terrible. I don't want my brother to have ugly children. Oh my God, I'm literally speechless, Frida. I am so done with you. Psh, I'm sick of you too. Even if you become my sister-in-law, I'll never consider you my family. You should keep that in mind. Hey, Harper, it's Marissa. Hi, Marissa. Um, is everything okay? Yes, everything's totally okay. Oh, I just want to say that I'm so happy for you and Christopher. You guys are such a cute couple, really. But how about you? Is everything okay with you? Meh, not really. Actually, it's about Frida. I just had a conversation with her like five minutes ago, and to be honest, it was not easy at all. I guess I wouldn't want another harsh conversation with you because you're also my high school friend. I'm sorry. If it's about what Frida said at the dinner yesterday, I can understand. Harper, don't worry. We all know that Frida's very mean and toxic. Nobody trusted her. We didn't say anything because we kind of knew that she just wanted attention by talking you down, the main character of the dinner. Really? Yeah. I know you're a good person. And I'm so happy to have you in my big family, Harper. Oh, thank you so much. You made my day, Marissa. I was so depressed after talking to Frida, but now I think that's gone. Aw, you're welcome. Hey, just forget about Frida, okay? She's an insane, selfish girl. I know what she said really made you frustrated, but don't let it get you down, especially when your big day's coming, okay? Okay, you're right. I should pay more attention to my wedding and forget about her. Exactly. Oh, Harper, I can't wait to see you in your wedding dress. Christopher was so lucky to get a yes from you. We're both lucky. I love him and I want to spend the rest of my life with a guy like him. Your dream is coming true. Congratulations, my friend. Thank you. Hey, speaking about the wedding dress, is there a chance that you two agreed to let Frida wear a kind of wedding dress on your wedding day? Huh? No, of course not. Did she tell you that she would wear a wedding dress that day? Yeah. She told me that yesterday after you two left. She said that was your idea, and I honestly was a little surprised then. My idea? I never had that crazy idea. She's really making a habit of making stories up, isn't she? Actually, I'm going with her to try some dresses this afternoon, and she sent me a bridal shop's address. Wow, this is really getting out of hand. How could she think about wearing a wedding dress at someone else's wedding? I know. She's not just thinking about it either. She's actually going to wear a wedding dress at your wedding to steal the show. What in heaven's name is she doing? I mean, I know she hates me, but I'm marrying her brother. Does she really want to ruin the most important day of his life? She's crazy. There's no way I'll let her do that. Yes, no one should wear a white dress to a wedding unless they're the bride, duh. I tried to talk her into giving up that crazy idea, but she insisted that you and Christopher had agreed to it. Wow, I cannot believe this. Oh wait, now I understand why she blew me off at dinner, but suddenly showed interest and asked questions when I was talking about the dress. Oh my god, she really wants to steal my thunder. I'm sorry, Harper. I'll go with her to make sure she'll pick a normal dress. No, that's okay. Let her do whatever she wants. Huh? What are you talking about? Hey, were you so shocked by this that now you're going crazy like her? No, I'm not crazy, Marissa. I was shocked and stunned, but not crazy. I think I'm going to make a few changes to the wedding, but I cannot do that without your help. Can you help me, Marissa? You're my friend and the only person that can help me deal with my sister-in-law. Of course I'll help you. I don't want anybody to ruin your big day, even if that's my cousin. Thank you, I owe you one. But what are you going to do? I'll tell you tonight, after you've helped her pick a white dress this afternoon. Okay, this is getting more interesting. <laughs> hey, Harper. Are you really going to let this wedding happen? What do you mean? 
My wedding is about to start, and I have no reason to stop it. Maybe we don't need to stop it. What if you ran away from your wedding with a random guy in the choir, and finally leave my brother alone? To be honest, I already found someone to replace your position as a bride. It's my best friend from high school, Linda. Do you remember? What? Who wants to marry my husband? Oh, that's okay if you don't remember her. Anyway, Linda, my bestie, has a big crush on Christopher. Obviously because he's handsome and his income is huge. So she's very happy to marry him today. But the point is that I like her better than you. What do you mean by that? Don't you understand? I'm telling you that I don't want you to be my sister-in-law. You're so ugly and gross. How can a nasty smug monster like you get married before a beautiful girl like me? That's the most absurd situation I've ever been in in my life. Frida, I can't take another second of you treating me with scorn and ridicule. You better stop making up those stupid stories about me and my wedding. Well, I just want to give you some advice as a friend. You should stop this wedding before it's too late. No matter what you say, I am not going to let you or your best friend interrupt my wedding. I'm done with you. I'm going to put on my wedding dress now. Oh, really? What a coincidence. I'm putting on a dress just like yours. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I mean, not the same. Mine is much more gorgeous than yours. <laughs> I don't think you should wear that dress to my wedding. That would be very rude of you, Frida. Who cares what you think? I'm the most beautiful girl in this house. That's why I'm the only person who deserves to be wearing the most beautiful dress today. Not you, pig. Frida, you're not a baby, okay? You cannot wear the same dress as me. Nuh-uh. No one can tell me what I should wear, even my parents. I'm going to wear my beautiful dress and steal your show. Frida, I'm going to be your sister-in-law, and I cannot let you make a blunder by showing off in that dress. You would make the whole family humiliated. You're acting like you're a big sister, but that only makes you more hypocritical. Today, I will knock you off your pedestal, and my brother will cancel this wedding, period. Fine, that was my last warning to you, but you should know that you can't always get what you want. It's too late. You cannot turn the tables on me with that pale, basic wedding dress. <laughs> Good luck, Harper. Oh my god! I cannot believe this! Harper, how could you change your dress that quickly? What do you mean? My dress is still the same. You told me at the dinner that you would buy a minimalist white dress and you thought Christopher would love it. Are you talking about the off-shoulder satin dress? Well, I just didn't like it anymore, so I changed my mind. What's wrong? What's wrong? Ugh! You told me you would wear a boring dress, and then suddenly you were walking down the aisle in a lathe embroidery golden wedding gown with puffy sleeves. Oh my god! That dress would look perfect on me! Thanks for your compliment. I love my dress too. Are you stupid? I didn't praise you. I don't care. I love my dress, and so does my husband. I had an amazing wedding. That's the only thing I care about at the moment. Wait, did I tell you that I also love your dress? It looked very cute. I hate you, you're so annoying. Okay, maybe you could change your dress after I talked to you yesterday, but what about the guests? I cannot believe that all the women were wearing white just like me. That sucked. I was supposed to be the only star of the wedding and steal the show, but then I looked as normal as everyone. Explain yourself, Harper. Well, I thought the female guests would like to wear white dresses like you. So I added an extra note telling them that they could be wearing their own wedding dress at my wedding. Every kind of white dress would be welcomed. It turned out that everyone liked that idea more than I thought, even my mother-in-law. Why didn't I know anything about that? Because I didn't want you to know that. What? Oh, you witch. I see it now. You must have heard about my dress before that, right? Otherwise, you couldn't have changed everything at the last minute like that. Yes, you're right. I already knew about your dress a few weeks ago. Thank you for giving me a chance to pick a better wedding gown. What? Who told you? Hang on. Was it Marissa? Because she went to the bridal shop with me. Oh, I knew it. She's no good. 
just like her mother. I trusted her, but she stabbed me in the back, that witch. I should have waited for Linda instead of asking Marissa. Hey, better watch yourself. You can't bring Marissa up in all of this. And don't you dare disrespect her mother either. Besides, you kept bragging about your crazy ideas and didn't even tell her to keep it secret. Then why couldn't she tell me? You were talking about my wedding, and I have the right to know everything about my wedding. That's obvious. Frida, don't blame someone else for your mistake. No! I was so close! My plan was perfect, but now it blew up in my face because of you! You ruined my plan, Harper! You have to pay for this! Huh? Pay for what? For not letting you trick me into your nasty plan to ruin my wedding day? Harper, I have an idea. I'll forgive you and let you marry my brother if you give me your wedding dress. Excuse me? Do you know that you're being ridiculous right now? First, I'm already your brother's wife and we don't need your permission to get married. Second, I didn't beg for your forgiveness for getting married. I was doing what I wanted to do. On the contrary, you're the one who should beg for my forgiveness because you wanted to ruin my wedding. Third, that's the wedding dress my husband bought for me and I would only give it to my daughter. How dare you ask me to give you that dress? Give it to me or I'll tell my parents you cheated on my brother. Oh, don't go there if you don't have any evidence. You better thank me for not revealing the truth about you to your parents. I bet they would kick you out of the house once they knew about that. And obviously, Christopher and I would never let you stay at our house. You! Are you threatening me? Yes, I'm not scared of you or your friends as I used to be when we were in high school. Do you want to be kicked out right away? Harper, I hate you! And I'll hate you forever! I'll get back at you! If you want to hurt me, I'm going to pay you back and make you regret it. I have enough power to keep my word. Do I make myself clear, little sis? What if I get back at you? Will you use my parents to kick me out? Oh, they love me so much that they could never live without me. Kick me out? Ha, huh, you're so funny. We'll see. I'm gonna call your parents immediately and tell them about your plan today. I know for sure that Marissa will back me up. No, please, Harper. Don't tell my parents about what I did to you. I'm sorry, okay? I'll be a good girl and never bother you again, I swear. I don't trust you, but I'll give you a chance. Okay. If I don't see any positive change from you, you know what will happen, right? I'll never give you a chance to do that. You know what? I thought that Frida would change after that day, but there was no difference. She kept bad-mouthing me and said that I cheated on my husband. What an incorrigible girl. Of course, no one trusted her because she didn't have any evidence to prove what she was accusing me of. Then my husband decided to tell my parents everything that Frida did to me, including the truth about what really happened in high school. She was the cheater, not me. Our parents got so aggressive that they cut her off right away and forced her to move out and get a job. Two months later, Frida was sent to her grandma's house in a small village where she had to work as a farmer. Every day she has to wake up early to feed the cows, and there's no way she's allowed to oversleep. I hope my sister-in-law will finally learn her lesson after being stuck there living on a farm.